and welcome this is Balascoba with another let's play this is let's play secret of mana a game that was released in 1993 originally on the Super Nintendo here in North America it is considered one of the best RPGs of its era and on the console it is definitely a great game Definitely. There is a small little introduction here that I do wish to read. Darkness sweeps the troubled land as mana's power fades. People await a hero who will wield the sword. Excalibur, Harold, Gigas. The blade has had many names, for it has been celebrated in myths and legends throughout time. But all of these speak to just one weapon, the Sword of Mana. Now we have already seen, well if you follow my channel, we have already seen uh, a Let's Play of Sword of Mana. If you missed that, I wouldn't worry too much. It doesn't really carry anything forward plot-wise. Uh, this game does stand on its own. And it's time for me to name this boy here. So I'll be right back once that's done. As suggested by Voltaire Salvador, this is going to be Jake. Using the power of mana, civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon. The Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. A violent war rocked the world, and mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river, and history repeats. That isn't foreboding at all. But we do get a little aerial view of a little bit of the world here, which is somewhat nice if only I knew any place markers there. Hey guys, wait up! Jake, what? Jake, no, Jake. Be quiet. The elder will find us here, and he'll be mad. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. Huh, do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. But I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. Damn it, guys! Don't leave me here. Help! I'm falling. No. And. Down goes Jake. Is he going to be okay? That was quite a fall, but luckily he landed in a very shallow thing of water. No way to get back up. Now what am I going to do? We can move around, though. We are now in control of Jake, which is very nice indeed. Now, I can't really do that much. Uh, as him right now. I can move around, I can run, but for some reason I can only run for just a little bit. I can only run in one direction and then it just kind of stops. Jake! Jake! What? I, I, didn't, I don't know what's going on. So let's head this way and hey! Nice, nice sword you got there! We can head up here, though. The village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. There's a sword. How do I get it? Now, the first time that I played this game, and I'm sure the first time a lot of people played this game, this is where you get stuck. You're kind of like, well, how do I get over there? It doesn't make any sense. You actually have to go up through here into the river and down. Why that, why that bothers some people, including me, I don't know. Remove the sword, Jake. Who are you? What's the sword doing here? Huh? Now that light, so bright, I can't see. Ah, a g g ghost. Jake, it is I who asked the sword. What? 
You ask the sword? Say what? You mean the sword? The brilliant light is gone in an instant. And now we have a sword. I have to get back. Very nice. We now have a sword, so let's get out of this river and we can chop down the grass because apparently Jake cannot step over it. And now you can start to get a little semblance of the battle system. We'll go over that a little bit more when we see an enemy like this guy. This is a rabbi. What's a rabbi doing in a place like this? So this is an action RPG, meaning that, well, there's no separate battle screen. You just have to fight enemies as you see them. Now in this game, unlike Sword of Mana, for those of you that did uh, watch Sword of Mana, this game requires you to wait. So as you can see there, after I attack, there's a little percentage bar at the bottom. Well, not necessarily a bar, but the, the percentages count up. That's not necessarily the point at which I have to wait until to attack again, but if I attack again before it gets back up to 100%, I will not be doing nearly as much damage. Can I show it off? Okay, let's hit this guy 100%. 14 damage, hit him before then, 2. So, even though the game is action-based, it does force you to more or less uh, take turns, or at least uh, it slows you down prevents you from spamming. And here we have our first chest. Let's grab it, shake the shit out of it, and we can get ourselves a candy, which is always nice. That does heal a little bit of HP. I shouldn't need to take that for these rabbis. They have exactly 20 HP, so if you want to try, just try to get the two damage, that's fine. It'll still kill them. Let's head down out of here, and there are more rabbits. Of course there are. You can hit multiple enemies at once with this. It is very nice. I do appreciate that. And we have another chest with uh, money. Four guild, four GP. Uh, well, I usually call that guild. I will probably just call it GP in this uh, game. This is not Final Fantasy, so there is definitely no correlation to Gil here. Although in uh, Sword of Mary it was called Lucre. We must be in a different civilization entirely. Let's get, keep on going, taking on rabbis as we go, or I could just miss entirely and then finish him off. There we go. Weapon skill up. Sword reaches level one. Very similar to uh, Sword of Mana. Basically what that does is it will level up your proficiency with the weapon. So even though it's not a full level up, it does level up how much damage you'll be doing with that weapon. So now our sword is up to level one. On top of that, we can now, let's see, we can now charge up the sword. I'm trying to get a little bit further away. If I hold down the button, I can then charge up the sword after my attack and then I can do a very nice attack. However, that takes forever, so I really don't want to use that. Wow, a critical strike. I don't want to use it against the rabbis here. Just not that much of a point. Uh, we might use that against bosses and tougher enemies, but hey, we've reached level two, and as you can see, he got a full heal out of that, which is always appreciated. No... Well, he's just got the one number there, which is his HP. He does not have any other number to indicate any sort of magic. Hmm, that doesn't look good. But we can grab this as well, which is another candy. So that gives us two candies. And it, get over here so I can whack you. Oh, come on. He only has one HP left. Hit him. He didn't need to wait for that. And just hit him again. It, there's a little bit of delay sometimes if you hit them too early. What the hell? Where'd you come from? I don't think they respawn. They could, though. There we go. There he goes. No treasure chest. And I believe we have made it to our destination, which is town. Town is always nice. However, 
I would like to go uh, back out and just do a minor amount of uh, level grinding until I get to level 3. So I will be back once I have done that. As you can see from Jake's increased HP, he is now up to 69 HP. Uh, I have been doing a little bit of grinding, we're up to level 3 now. Uh, I have also changed the background and all the text boxes so that it's a little bit easier to read. I just basically filled it in with blue. That just changed the pattern, didn't change the color or anything like that. Now this is the menu screen, and for those of you that are new to the game, this is a very confusing screen because pretty much all it lets you do is change what weapon that you're equipped with and you've just got the one whereas everything else on the on the menu you have to press up and down uh, to, to go through this menu it's all on the rings similar to how it was in sword of mana so if i press up you can see that i have four candies here now i am maxed out on candies should i come across a treasure chest with another candy inside and i've already got four candies the chest will say candy won't fit and then the chest will disappear, which is kind of is kind of mean if you ask me. And then if we press up again, we can get to all the options here, which does include not only the window edit, which I already used, uh, but controller, the action grid, which should be familiar to those that um, have played Sword of Manor or watched me play it just a little bit. But uh, we'll go over that more in detail le later. You can also check on the weapon and magic levels. Uh, you can check on the stats of your party and you can check who they're targeting and you can get a quip uh, done here. You can equip armor for them. But I don't really need to do any of that yet so let's go back to the sword and get out of the menu. You don't need to go back to the sword to get out of the menu but I like to just because I'm kind of OCD like that. We are in the town of Photos, so let's talk to everybody here. How you doing? Did you see that, Jake? A minute ago, something lit up the sky near the falls. I have a real bad feeling about this. They're apparently concerned about what we just did. Let's go into random people's houses and see if I can steal something. Anything. I mean, that's what a good RPG player does. Hey, Jake. Stop playing with that sword before you hurt somebody. I killed rabbis. I am a rabbi slayer. Can I go in the beds? Nah, you can't go in the beds. I always want to check if I can go in people's beds in games. Now, if I remember correctly, there's actually nothing here in town for me to... It looks kind of scary. There's nothing in here for me to steal. Nothing in town. But I always want to double check anyway. Hey! Recognize you? Do I recognize you? I don't recognize him. How are you doing, barmaid? A knight from somewhere? What's he doing here? I don't know. Uh, can I have one mead? Pint of mead, please. Elliot was pale and about to faint. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. You didn't have a name this time. But I know it's Moti. I knows it. How you doing, buddy? Monsters have surrounded the village. Something's wrong. We better stay inside, and he's not letting me pass. Hooray! Here's the inn. I, sh I probably will be using that uh, once we are done in town. I want to avoid that for now. And actually, do I just want to go into the item shop after that? But I think that's that's it. It's not a very big town. I remember that. And hey, it's the same guy from the tavern. On an errand for the elder, best hurry along. But, oh, okay, I don't have anything from the elder, but I do want to buy something. You can buy candy, uh, which will uh, restore your HP. You can buy a medical herb, which cures some statuses. A cup of wishes, which is too expensive for me to buy right now. Uh, you can also get overalls, and you can get the bandana. Now, the bandana is what I am looking for. Yes. Thank you. And I'm going to hold off on the overalls for now. I shouldn't need them. Yeah, this is just freaking expensive. Yeah, we are done here. We are done. Anything else? No. That that would be it. Yeah, thank you. And so, now let's go through equipping that. Here we go. Equip that. And now, Jake has two headbands on. That's my guess. That is my guess indeed. 